Hey there, uh, my name is JJ. Uh, I run Media Authentic and now creating some awesome stuff for Data Studio VIP. Uh, we're going to talk about dimensions, metrics, and parameters today. This is going to be a basics uh, lesson, so I hope that this is super helpful to at least you understand what dimensions and metrics are and how they can kind of be flip flopped. At the same time, um, for maybe some more advanced people, what a parameter is and how you can use a parameter to really uh, make your report and uh, your dashboard just elevate it to the next level, right? If you've got a sexy report um, dashboard right now and you want to just <clears throat> add something really, really on top, the number one thing is a parameter, right? And I'll show you exactly how to do that right up front. And then we're going to dive into those dimensions and metrics. But first, uh, be sure that you head over to datastudio.vip forward slash YouTube uh, to get the dashboard cheat sheet, right? This is eight, metric, this is eight steps that you can use uh, to publish um, something amazing every single time you make a new dashboard, talking about colors, talking about icons, talking about all those uh, cute little things that most people overlook um, when building out a dashboard for either your boss, your client, or yourself. So I hope that that is helpful to you. All right, we're just gonna hop right into it because frankly, that's what I'm here for. Um, is the first thing we're gonna talk about here is our dimensions, metrics, and parameters. So what in the world is a dimension, right? That's what a lot of people are over here talking about is a dimension actually is what is broken down by a metric. I know, confusing, I'm using the words within themselves. So. Let's just take a use case is the first use case we have here is a metric, which is a number metrics do math, MM metric math, super simple, right? The metrics can be broken down. So for example, say population, right? You got population, uh, which you could have population in the United States. And then that's a metric dimension would then be the state, right? In the United States, we use states. So California, Population, California dimension, which is breaking down the uh, the metric of population, right? We got the, the dimension, population, sorry, the dimension is California. Jeez, too much coffee today. Um, dimension is California, the metric is population. The metric is then broken down by the dimension. So now we're gonna show you exactly how that works within Data Studio in a more practical application if I didn't just slaughter and lose 99% of people who are watching this. So hello to those of you that are still here. So at the, by, by default, this is probably the easiest way is we got a page, let's just use page because frankly, ain't nobody got time for page titles because those change. Um, so the page is the slug, right? And then we have users. Let's just use page. Uh, let's just page views because page views is much easier. We've got page and we've got page views. Page views is a metric, right? Blue. It even says metric right here. And dimension is the page. So if you add up all the page views, you should get the total number of page views. They're then broken down by that page. You can add multiple different, um, you like dimensions, right? We could then add device. So now we're looking at this broken down by two separate dimensions, the page and the device. So for example, we've got home desktop 39,000. We've got home mobile down here at 10,000, right? So you can see here that we've got dimensions breaking down metrics, fairly straightforward. The quickest litmus test, if you go over here to edit your data source, is dimensions are green <laughs> and metrics are blue. Super, super, super basic, I know, but this is not always the case. Sometimes, if it's not, when you click on this and it says aggregation auto, sometimes your metrics will be green. So the color thing for all of us non-colorblind people might not always work. Okay. So well, how does this actually work? So if, for example, we have page and we have page views, but what if we wanted to know how many pages actually exist, right? So we're gonna say like, hey, how many of these pages actually exist? What we're gonna actually do is make a new field and then we're gonna call this count distinct of page. So count like number of pages on website. And now we're gonna hit apply. And now we've got a new metric, which is counting a dimension. I know, inception, right? Inception in the fullest 
extent of inception. So I hope this makes sense because basically what we're doing here is we're counting the number of unique pages and that will give us a new thing. So right here, right? You'll see this broken down. You're like, wait a second, number of pages. Well, obviously it's one because the dimension is one. It's like how I said, how many states are in the United States? And then I've tried to break that down by state. How many states are within California? One. It's just California. How many pages are within home? One. Home. But at the same time, right, if we were going to take this and we're going to make a new situation over here of a scorecard, which is now not breaking it down at all, right? We're going to make a new field. I'm going to drop this sucker in. Call it number of pages. Hit that. And now we know we have 701 pages, which is a metric, right? The metric is 701. But you can see here how that works. All right. I hope I didn't confuse anybody too much. Basically, dimensions slice things up and metrics are numbers. Um, the, the last thing here is parameters. Everybody's like, what on freaking God's green earth is a parameter? And how do I use that? So the parameter is found at the very bottom right here. So very, very bottom right in Data Studio is a parameter. If you hit add, it'll pop this little modal. It's super cute. I know. You can name a parameter. So the parameter we're going to name here is called multiplier, right? And so we've got this parameter ID. Once I hit save, you cannot change the parameter ID, so choose wisely. It's a pain in the butt if you call this multiplier and then you save it and then tomorrow you come back and you call this people, right? And you're like, wait a second, I don't even know. We've got two different, or we've got two different basic types. It's like a text and a number. Boolean, which we talked about in last week's video, is a true or false statement. So basically if you go to Boolean, it'll just say, hey, is it true or false? And is it checked or not checked by default, right? Super basic. But the text is just going to be um, here and you can have a list of text options if you'd like to and you are good. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to number, number and we're going to use the decimal. So um, you can do a list right here or you can do a range. I'm going to start with a range just because I'm going to fit. I just figure it might as well, right? <laughs> so we're right here times 20, right? And the default value is going to be one, right? And so here we're going to make this new parameter. I'm going to hit save down here in the bottom right. Now the parameter is saved. We're gonna hit done. Sometimes it does not show up. So if you come over here to your fields, you'll see multiplier. Yep, it showed up. So we got purple as another one. So we got, again, dimensions, green, metrics, blue, purple parameters. I know, pretty crazy. If we drag this over here, by default, it's gonna be that slider. So under the controls, it's gonna be the slider. And you can see here, we can slide it up and we can slide it down and it does not do anything. So what do you use this thing for? The number one use case that I use it for is to calculate stick and churn. Well, we don't need to talk about that. We're just to make a super simple example. So say for, we wanted to say a number of pages here, and we're gonna multiply it by our multiplier. And we're gonna hit apply. So basically we're counting that, and then we're gonna multiply it by our multiplier. Now we can use this in our view mode, right? To be like, hey, what would happen if we doubled our production? Well, we'd have 1400 pages, right? What if we like multiply by eight? Well, then we'd have 5,000 pages, right? So I think you can see how this could be useful, right? It's it's more of a future, like I use it more as like a future pro projection situation of saying, hey, if we were to do more, what would happen? What you're also able to do is say, say for example, we had a scorecard here of revenue. Let's just make this into revenue. I believe that is available here. Yes, okay. So what we're gonna do is make another parameter and we're gonna just call this confidence. And we're gonna make it a um, text and we're gonna make it a list right here. So the value is one, but then the label is normal. I can't spell. And then we're gonna add another one, value of two. And then we're gonna say confident and value of three, super confident. And then value of four is ultra confident. I can't spell, but that's beside the point. All right, and then the default is gonna be normal and we're gonna hit save. 
So now what we wanted to do is say, we have revenue, right? So let's just say a last, what is this? Are we mean looking at, let's add another control here of our date range control and just set that to the default of last seven days. All right, so we got last seven days sitting right over here. Let me just put that up there. And then, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another one and then we're gonna put here next seven days confidence. Um, right, so boom, we have this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, create a new field, we're gonna take revenue, and we're gonna multiply it by our confidence level. Con, or next seven days, confidence. Oops, I forgot that we have to change something. We're gonna not send feedback. Um, oh, there we go. Did this all wrong, look at that. So here, the value, we're just gonna change this into parameter is confidence. Right, so what you could do is make a new one. I believe you can go back. And so here's where we're doing this live, right? Is we can actually come into our confidence one and edit this and change this into a whole number multiplier. And then now it's gonna work just as we thought, right? So now if we hit done, now we're good to go, right? So now we have our next seven days confidence level and we are up and running. And then we're gonna add our confidence right here. And now a person can come in here and say, hey, on the last seven days, we did 47,000. Moving forward, I'm pretty confident. Boom, 94,000. I am super confident and I think we can do 141,000. I am ultra confident and we're just gonna break all marketing metrics, right? So that is how you can use a parameter. I don't wanna give you a hyper-specific use case because frankly, there's unlimited methods to use it, but I hope this at least gave you some ideas behind like methods to do something. The one last thing I'm gonna end on is that if you do this, similar to how I did it, you have to change your number here to a currency and then use whatever currency you're in. Let's just use the Turkish Lira because hey, might as well. So here you can say um, exactly what that looks like. So I hope this was helpful as far as understanding how dimensions and how metrics and how um, parameters can kind of play with each other. A metric is a number, a dimension is how it's broken down by and a parameter influences everything else, right? So I hope that that was all helpful. Let me know. Um, if not, totally also let me know because I don't need to make these if I don't want to. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, if I don't, just one last thing. Remember to grab the cheat sheet if you'd like to, if not, totally okay. Uh, but that's datastudio.vip forward slash cheat sheet. I will see you guys in the next video.